we say, ביום ההוא יהיה השם אחד ושמו אחד. At the end of the Eleno prayer, we said on that day, השם will be one and his name will be one. Well, our sages in the Gemara ask, what Hashem isn't one right now? What do we know on that day? Well, we say, what, what does it mean that Hashem is one? But just imagine, it's very easy. No, the Hashem is one. Imagine that you have a chick with all these zeros. You know, every zero makes it 10, 10 times more, 10 times more. So you have good health, that's a zero. You have a good income, that's a zero. You have a lovely spouse, that's a zero. You have wonderful kids, that's a zero. But if you could have all these zeros in your life and you don't have a one on the left side of the check, it's still zero. The one on the left side of the check, that is, Hashem is one. When you have Hashem in your life, what does it mean to have Hashem in your life? We you have Amunah. You have Amunah, you see everything. You could see Hashem in every blade of grass and every... Everything. You, you, you look at a shem, you see it in, in every plant. You, you look at the, the, the plant and you contemplate the plant. You contemplate the micro of the world. You contemplate the macro of the world. The great galaxies. And shem, just imagine, look, and, and the, the highways. How many accidents there are. Look how fast the planets are chasing through space. And if there would be one accident, one collision, that would be it. That's the end of the, the solar system, the end of planet Earth. But no, the millions of miles an hour, and they, everything is fine. Everything is in order. This is what the Shem does. And just as the Shem is running the paths of the planets, we say in the Myri prayer, Mishma Sam Kitsona, that each one is its path according to Hashem's will. Hashem is right now in micro every single molecule, every single atom in our body that is Hashem personally deciding where it's going to be and when and, and what's it, it it's mind-boggling it's mind-boggling to think of expanding of Shem and macro and in micro so when you contemplate a Shem it right away brings you joy and there's nothing to worry about but you think about Emuna Emuna that is the one at the left side of the check your faith your full and complete faith in a Shem and you stop and think wait a second everything comes from a Shem he alone did, does, and will do everything. It's the first principle of our faith. And we, if Hashem loves us, we say this every day, it's in the Torah. It's a sign check of the Torah that the, the Hashem loves every one of us. So if everything comes from Hashem, and nobody else could do a thing, the, the sun, the moon, the stars, every plant, every single grain of sand, every single drop of water that, that's going down the river, it's all come from Hashem. Hashem runs everything. There's nothing, absolutely nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Even when things look like they're difficult, what do we do? We take everything, we throw it all in your hands, Hashem. All in your hands. And that's a good reason to come every single day and to spend some time alone with Hashem. And to contemplate Hashem, just ask Hashem, Hashem, let me get close to you. Hashem, let me see your hand in all of creation. Hashem, let me see how everything comes from you. And Hashem, give me real emuna. You can't buy it at Walmarts, and you can't buy it at Walbaums, and you can't order it at Amazon or eBay. You have to ask for Hashem, emuna. And when you have emuna, you have that faith in Hashem. That is the one on the left side of the check. And then when you have that one, then you have 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, <laughs> endless. Hashem, add lots of zeros, lots of zeros. But heaven forbid, if you don't have that one, everything stays nothing. And people go through their lives, and they finish their lives, and they have terrible, excruciating experiences at the end of life, because all of a sudden they see that their whole life was not. What did they do all their lives? They ran after money, they ran after fame. Money doesn't stay with a person. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov says either Hashem takes the money from the person, or Hashem takes the person with the money. And that's why we read Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is simply contemplate. Contemplate what life is all about. And now stop and think about it. This we, we contemplate. And every day we should contemplate what our lives are all about. That way we can live our lives to the fullest. When we live our lives to the fullest, we accomplish so very much more. And we're happy. And we keep a smile on our face, a real genuine smile on our face. Hashem should give us all a muna and give us that smile on our face. And we find joy and happiness in all of Hashem's world and in everything we do. Amen.